Hey there, I'm Josh Goldman, Senior Editor with CNET, and this is a look at the Samsung Galaxy Camera, which is basically a point-and-shoot camera that's similar to Samsung's WB850F with a uh, 21x zoom lens and a 16 megapixel backside illuminated CMOS sensor. Uh, but instead of just a camera operating system, you get Android 4.1 Jelly Bean and the option to add AT&T 4G data service. Those things give you access to a world of Android apps and the ability to share your photos and movie clips on the go. You also get this huge 4.8 inch HD touchscreen that's not only handy for framing your shots, but the extra space is really nice for viewing and editing or doing just about anything else that you can do with other Android devices. And it even has a headphone jack on the side. Uh, shooting modes range from full manual and semi-manual to full auto, plus there are a lot of options in between. For example, there's a best face uh, shot, which will take a burst of five pictures and then let you pick the face that works best for the people in your shot. Overall though, what I really like is that the camera doesn't feel separate from the OS. It's a cohesive experience that other camera makers probably couldn't pull off. That said, its photo quality is no better than a good point and shoot and its battery life isn't great. And with a price of about $500 without a data plan, it's a tough sell unless you really need to shoot and share immediately and want the benefits of a better lens and sensor than you'll get in a smartphone. I'm Josh Goldman and that's the Samsung Galaxy Camera.